Mastering the Art of Manifestation. Right. How is that different from the Law of Attraction? It's very, very different. Tell me. Yeah. Um, the, the Law of Attraction, and I'm, not, and I'm not here to put down the Law of Attraction. I think it's, I think what the, that I think the that Law of Attraction done, and the Secret opened people up to right. a new way of thinking. Absolutely. It had its flaws because right. it uh, allowed some people to think that all you had to do was think about a bicycle yeah. and there it would show right. up. Yeah. And the key word that you use in here over and over and over again in every chapter is that in order to attract or manifest anything, you have to be in alignment with your source, with your, with source. your source, with God. With you God. have to be. Just, yeah, it's you, about. You have alignment. to stay connected to the ocean. That's right. You have to stay Because you can't just yeah. sit around and wishing yeah. for stuff. Or so the basic thing that Neville taught me, and a lot of this is from the teachings of Neville, mm -hmm. uh, Neville Goddard, who died in the 1970s. He 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 basically said that um, all of us have within us this amazing capacity to manifest and attract anything that we want into our life. So how we call it, what, what words that we use, we have to be able to say, um, you know, in the secret they say, you, you get what you want, you know, and what is missing. And what Neville said and what, uh, what has come to me and what I got from the I Am Discourses and what I get from the New Testament, which I read before I did this, is that you, you say, I will attract into my life what I am, not what I want. And I am capable of attracting all things that the, that the source is, is capable of attracting. So that's the difference. It's like you get what you are rather than what you want. So you want to become, you can't go around and ask these divine beings, you know, angels, whatever you want to call them. Who are to, right here all the time. Always. You right can't, here, you can't right here, ask right them here. to help me out. You have to, you have to become like they are. That when, you're, when you become angelic, when you become a divine being yourself, when you are giving, when you are serving, when you are in that place, they will come to you. That's what happened to you in India. Mm -hmm. You then begin to see yourself in everything. You know, it's like, Because it is our goal to reflect the character right. of God. That's right. what we're here exactly. to do, is to emulate that. And that's what the Tao Te Ching teaches as well. Yes. They call it your original nature. Your original nature is reverence for all of life, gentleness, kindness and service towards others. That's Lao Tzu 500 years before the birth of Christ saying that's our original nature. Yes. Reverence for all of life, gentleness, kindness, service towards others, giving, offering, serving. And when you get to that place where you no longer have any judgment within you towards any of God's children, that means no condemnation, no criticism, no judgment towards anyone, even the Osama bin Laden. But how even can we be that since we're here, but we're living, we're on earth, we got problems, yeah, we but, got our issues, we and, have stuff going on. And if enough of us get this message, Oprah, yes. if enough of us get on, that's just what my mission is, is just to teach people that you are love. You are divine. Mm -hmm. Put that into your imagination. I am, I am well. I am happy. I am content. I am fulfilled. Even if your senses tell you that you're depressed. One of your people that called me when we did a pre-interview on mm -hmm. here said, well, if, I, if I'm feeling depressed, I'm supposed to fool myself and say I am feeling well even you if I'm depressed? You can choose another thought. That's yeah, what I've learned. Absolutely. And it's like you, you don't say I am depressed because if you say I am depressed, you connect with depression and the universal source, God, whatever you want to call it, will align in such a way to offer you whatever it is. More that depression. You put, yeah, here's some more depression. I am unhappy. I am depressed. I am. So by placing into your imagination what you want and assuming the feeling of that wish is already fulfilled you go through your life feeling that when enough of us do that we will we will transform this planet I'm telling you it, it can be done we're doing you know, it right now absolutely us sitting here right here together it's all part of this perfection